Hello everyone, it's Alana here and today I thought I'd bring back a video which I did actually film a while ago. Now it's a baking video and it is perfect for those times when it's too cold, too rainy and just too awful to even think about tacking up your horse. So I've been super busy this week, I've been at Sheetgate Under 25's Championships and our team actually did really well. I'm so proud of all of Northern Region so I thought I'd give them a little bit of a shout out. Um, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, don't forget to follow me on my social medias at Alana Clark Equestrian on Instagram and Facebook and at Ace underscore Equestrian on Twitter. So without further ado, let's go! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to Alana's Kitchen. Today I'll be trying to make the carrot pony treats from the May edition of Pony Magazine. Now I'm not a great cook so you're just going to have to bear with me and see how we get on. I've got all my ingredients ready. Two carrots already prepared, 100 grams of porridge oats, 100 grams of plain flour and one tablespoon of clear honey. For your equipment you will need a grater, baking tray, greaseproof paper, mixing bowl, metal spoon and scales. I've grated my two carrots so now I'm just measuring out 100 grams of porridge oats. Now that I've measured out my 100 grams of oats, I'm going to measure out another 100 grams of plain flour add that to the bowl. There we go. So I'm going to add in my one tablespoon of honey. Okay that's over one tablespoon but I never said it was going to be accurate. And mix that in, I'm getting honey everywhere, mix that in to make a good batter. Next take some batter no bigger than your palm and mould it into a carrot-esque shape. Then you're going to want to place it on the greaseproof paper once you're happy with its shape. So I've got 12 out of my mixture and I'm just about to pop it in the oven for around about 10 minutes at 190 degrees. Now you might need your parents help for this bit. Here they are all finished a nice light golden brown. Once they've cooled down for a bit I'm ready to pop them in a box and take them down to the stables. Don't forget these treats you can eat them too. They're actually really nice. Sorry Sol, <laughs> they're so nice. Here they are in our box ready to take down to salt. They smell amazing. Thank you so much Pony Mag and thank you everyone for joining me in Alana's kitchen. Goodbye!